everybody and welcome back. I recently canned half and half cream and today we're gonna taste it and we're gonna wash the jars. Let me turn you around to the counter. Let's open this up and have a taste. I have already opened up another jar and it has been used up. It was a jar that fell over in the canning pot and the cream came out of the jar. Okay, so what I'm going to do is before we open this, I'm going to show you an excerpt from the video I recently published. Today I am pressure canning half and half. I know there's a lot of different ways to can milk products, which by the way is not approved. Okay, you need to know that. Some people bring their milk up to pressure and then turn off their stovetop. I will be processing this for 10 minutes. Okay, so I'm very pleased. Despite the fact that one of the jars fell over because I didn't put jars of water in the canning pot to prevent that from happening. Anyway, this jar sealed, which is interesting. They're all sealing nicely. Uh, once again, canning dairy is not approved, but I will continue to do it because it works for me. So let's open up this jar. Now I have to tell you, ordinarily when I open up a jar of pressure canned milk, because this is the first time I have pressure canned half and half. I usually give it a shake. Because I'm filming this, I'm not going to shake this jar first. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna have a look at it as it is. Okay, so that's a reasonably good seal. Let's take the lid off. So this is what it looks like. Now that I've put this lid on the jar, I'm going to give it a shake. Okay, so let's get tasting this. It's very rich and it is delicious. In all, I pressure canned 12 jars of half and half. As I said, I've used one up. When I clean jars, I start by taking off the ring bands. Next thing I do is I check the seals. Each one of these jars of pressure canned half and half have an excellent seal. Let's take a closer look. I don't actually think this is siphoning from this jar. I think it's from the cream that came out of the jar that toppled over. I'm going to use this very useful doodad here just in case my sponge does not scrape it off. <laughs> 